In this video, we're gonna see how the online hospital appointment booking application will be worked, which was implemented using Pega. So this is the home screen of the application where I have implemented a slideshow and some other features which are gonna explain the application. So first uh, click on login registration here you can see two registration one is patient and the second one is doctor first let's get started with the uh, patient registration once you click on it a new screen will be open prompting to enter email id password and patient name. let me give you a dummy email id sajiha23 at the rate gmail.com and the password, some, some random password I have given truth. And the patient name is Sajiha. Just click on create account. You can see the account was successfully created. Let's go back to the login screen. Once again, click on login and registration button. Here you have to give the credentials that we have just entered, which is Sajiha23 at the rate gmail.com. And the password is rules. Click on login. This is the user portal of the patient where he have uh, two privileges. One is booking appointment and the second one is uh, viewing all his appointments. First, let us create a appointment. So once he click on uh, book appointment, the screen will be uh, popped. Yeah, like this we can resume from our box list as well enter age your gender phone number all the details that are necessary some case history click on submit as soon as you submit the screen you will be directed to select the specialization so I have implemented uh, some specializations like cardiology, cholesterol, surgery, etc. So once you click on the specialization, that specialization based doctors will be displayed under it. Like if you click on cardiology, cardiology based doctors will be displayed. And similarly, if you click on urology, urology based doctors will be displayed. And whatever whatever the specialization you click on you have selected that specialization based doctors will be displayed so let me go with cardiology and um, here I would like to select Suresh you can see the rating as well the rating is based on the feedback that the patient gives at the end of the application at the end of this case flow so let me book appointment of uh, Suresh it will be available from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. click on ok and just confirm so now we entered into a step of a slot booking where we can review our doctor details and we have to select the slot date here we can select the uh, past date or the present date like if I want to select um, uh, some uh, August 1st you can see all the slots were blocked disabled because it was a past date so you have to select even if you select the present date today's date it will be blocked so you have to select a future date which is from September 3rd then the slots will be available let me select a slot of 8 am to 9 am click on ok and, uh, just confirm so here we have to make a payment of uh, 500 
it's a consulting fee. So I think we can make it uh, using Razopay. If you want, you can check my previous video where I have made a, a Razopay integration with uh, Pega. Using that, we can implement that uh, Razopay on this make payment button. So here I'm entering that dummy transaction ID and all. And if you want, you can attach the payment screenshot. Just click on submit. So here you can see the case is routed to a receptionist. So we have to get an approval from the receptionist. Let's quickly log off and uh, log in with the receptionist ID. Receptionist uh, is from <laughs> Apollo Hospital. I have made it a dummy one actually. Uh, so receptionist said right Apollo it will be based on the uh, doctor's profile as the Suresh is from Apollo hospital so receptionist will be from Apollo hospital so once it was approved the case now will be routed to the doctor as you can see Suresh Suresh at the rate gmail.com is the doctor name so the case now is routed to doctor quickly log in as uh, the doctor and give the password as well click on login here you can see the uh, get approval in his my, uh, my work list and uh, I will quickly review the patient details the case history and all if he want he can approve if he is available at that time will do approval and now the case is routed to the patient because it has to be notified to the patient that the case was I mean uh, the appointment was confirmed by the doctor so now let me quickly log in as a, a patient click on login get approval approval is confirmed so yeah your appointment of doctor so here we have to wait till date but as of now I have to show the case life cycle that's why I'm just clicking on S continue so here it means the date of appointment was arrived it means we when we have skipped it it means we, the date of uh, appointment was arrived then when the patient visited the doctor and after some examination the doctor has to attach prescription so for that doctor has to log in so here you can see it was routed to doctor asking for prescription this prescription will be given back to the patient it was on online appointment completely so once he attached the prescription and submitted the case now will be routed to the patient again because he have to give some rating it's not mandatory but it will be routed back to the patient and if if he want the doctor can see his patient details in my patient details after giving some rating and let me quickly log in as patient so you can find it in my workplace so anything is yes, some one star or five star anything you can see the result is completed. So now I would like to show my appointments. You can see there are two cases. The another one that I have it was created previously. Here you can see the um, status as result for 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. slot. And now I would like to create another appointment to show you different scenario.
you have the case study case history and let me select cholesterol surgery this time and the doctor sonia and the slot will be 10 am to 11 am this time anything is fine but i'm going with the 10 am to 11 am so let's confirm it make payment okay the case is routed to the receptionist but before that i will show you one thing i'll quickly create another case another appointment give the cholesterol surgery that i have create uh, that i have given previously the same doctor just confirm and the same date as well which is september 5th you can see the uh, slot that i have booked previously will be blocked this time because it was already booked by one of the patient one of the case so here the status is booked and if i want to cancel it i can cancel it and if immediately after cancelling the slot there in the portal it has to be get enabled so let's see whether it is enabled or not quickly give the age details all and click on submit and give the same specialization and same doctor details this time as well uh book appointment confirm and the date is september 5th you can see it was now enabled because we have cancelled it so in this way we can implement both cancelling appointment booking an appointment resolving the case and all just submit and again it was routed to receptionist at the red latha hospital so this routing is based on the hospital of the doctor that's it guys you can see the status of the slot is cancelled some are resolved some are booked some are cancelled like that but we can view all the details of a slot whether it was a previous one or the current present one thanks for watching